Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentistry Made Easy. Now moving towards the last part of dentin bonding agent. So the link for the other two parts will be shared in the description box below so that you can go through them first to understand this third part. We have already seen about the last four generation in the previous parts. Starting with the fifth generation. Though fourth generation dentin bonding agent, as we have saw, they achieved maximum bond strength due to dentin etching. The disadvantage in that was it was a very technique sensitive due to number of steps that were involved. Hence to reduce the number of steps that were there in the fourth generation, fifth generation was developed. So in this fifth generation, what was done? Now over here, you will see that the primer and the adhesive. So over here, now you can see P and A that is primer and adhesive. They were provided in the single bottle itself. Now what you're doing, you're reducing the number of steps. So in the fourth generation primer, it was applied separately and adhesive, it was applied separately. But now in fifth generation, what they did was they have mixed primer and adhesive together in one bottle. So in this, it is like a two step technique in which first you're going to apply the etchet and then you're going to apply the primer and adhesive, which is present in one bottle itself. Clinically, how are you going to apply it? So over here, first, what you're going to do? You're going to apply the etchant, then you're going to rinse it. And then what you're going to do in the second step is you're going to apply this primer and adhesive solution and you're going to like apply over here two layers of it. Instead of one layer, what you're going to do? You're going to apply two layers of this primer and adhesive solution for 20 seconds. And what you're going to do after this is you're going to remove the excessive adhesive by gentle air stream. Now you have to remember that it shouldn't be like a blast of air. And finally, you're going to light cure it. Now the examples for fifth generation are prime and bond NT. So this is given by a company called Densply. Then there is this Tetric N bond, then Adpo TM single bond 2 or plus 3M ESP. So these are like the various example of fifth generation. And what are the advantages and disadvantages? First advantage is in this, it is a simpler application procedure because now over here, it is a two step procedure. First, you're going to etch and then you're going to bond. Then the next advantage is cross contamination is avoided. Third will be it is a, it has this stable composition. Now, what are the disadvantages? Now in this, it is technique sensitive only over here, a weaker resin collagen interaction is there. Now the next disadvantage is in this, the bond strength is less when you're comparing it with the fourth generation. So in this somewhere, it is about three to 25 MPA. Whereas in fourth generation, even some of the agent they had like the bond strength of 30 MPA. So that was all about the fifth generation. Now moving on towards the sixth generation. So now further demand of simplification of clinical step, they lead to the development of sixth generation. Now, what was the major disadvantage of this fifth generation or you can say fourth generation. So the major disadvantage was to maintain the moist dentine for application of primer and adhesive. And thus it was overcome by what you're going to do in the sixth generation. You're going to omit the step of etch and rinse. So in this, the solution which was mixed together was now you can see over here the etchant and primer it was mixed together and the adhesive it was present in separate bottle now you have to remember this very well in fifth generation what you're going to do you're going to apply etchant as a separate step and the primer and adhesive they are mixed together whereas in the sixth generation it is etchant and primer it is mixed together and the adhesive it is applied like as a separate step and it is present in separate bottle and because of this sixth generation is known as self etching primers in this sixth generation there are two categories which are available so the first one is over here it is a two step system with two components which means now you have this two steps that is the first bottle is containing etchant and primer that will be your first step and the next step will be you are applying the adhesive separately. So because of this, it is a two step system and you have two components. 
Now the next category is it is a single step system. So what do you mean by single step system? So it is a single step two component. That means you have this two bottles only. That is the etchant and primer one and the adhesive one. But now in this what you were doing is you were applying first you were applying this etchant and primer and then you applied this adhesive. Now whereas in this single step what you're going to do is you're going to mix both the component together and you're going to apply it as a single step. So you're going to take a droplet of this bottle and droplet of this bottle. Then you're going to mix it properly prior to application and you're going to apply this mixture at once and then you're going to light cure it. So this means it is a single step system. Now as we said earlier that in this sixth generation what we are doing we are eliminating the etching procedure. So in this the etchant and primer they are mixed together. So what are the advantages of eliminating the etching procedure? So the first one will be it is a clinician friendly procedure. The next is it is less technique sensitive. Why? Because the main problem lies in the etching and rinsing. So if it is over dried, so we have seen about this in the fourth generation that it can be over dried or it can be over wet. Why? Because we are like removing the etchant with the help of water. But now in this sixth generation, you are omitting this step only. So because of that, it is less technique sensitive. So over here, I'll show you this thing with the diagram. So this is the dentine, which is there. Over here, you have done the preparation. So because of this, this is the smear layer. So this is the smear layer. And this is the dentine. Over here, you have the smear plug. So this is your smear plug. So this was the first step that you do, that you apply the primer and etchant together and because of this only that you have your primer which is mixed in etchant you are not going to rinse and the last will be the application of adhesive so the application of adhesive layer and on this you have the application of composite so this is your hybrid layer which is formed so what exactly hybrid layer is we have already covered it so this is your hybrid layer over this hybrid layer you have your adhesive and over your adhesive, now you have your composite. So in this, you'll also see that there is this resin impregnated smear plug, which is present. Over here, the self etching primers, what are they? They are the acidic primers. So they are the acidic primers. What they are going to do is they are going to like penetrate within the smear layer and they are going to interact with the underlying dentine. So they are going to penetrate through this layer and they are going to interact with dentine. And here it is a simpler procedure when you're comparing it with the etch and rinse. That means your fourth generation as here you're not going to rinse. So that is the main advantage in this sixth generation. So the self etching primer, it contains strong acids. So they contain strong acids like HEMA, MDP, then you have HEMA phosphate. So these are like very strong acids that are present in the sixth generation self etching primers. Basically they are nothing but they are very similar to the third generation dentine bonding agent. But the only difference you will see that the third generation dentine bonding agent they could not etch beyond the smear layer because they were mild acid. So they were 5 to 10 weight percentage. So the third generation agents, they were having this weight, whereas the sixth generation, now over here, they are very highly acidic and the weight you can say is 30 to 40 weight percentage. But now this two step, two component self etching primer, it resulted in discrepancy between the depth of demineralization by primer and the depth of adhesive resin penetration. So because of that only, they have evolved into another process of doing it into a single step two component self etching primer. So in this way, they removed the minerals from the dentine, but also simultaneously they replaced it with the resin monomers. And because of this, there were no voids and 
as there are no voids there is less micro leakage and less post operative sensitivity the two step two component adhesive it is also known as non rinsing conditioner or self priming agent examples are clear fill se bond the next example is adhi se so this is given by a company called ivoclar the third example is the opti bond solo plus self edge so these are like the various examples for two step two component adhesive system this particular self etching primers so they are used in the pediatric patients uncooperative patient because we want to reduce the time of doing that particular restoration and it is also used in class 5 and deep class 2 restoration why because in such situations isolation is very difficult so because of this only you are using self etching primer in such conditions now what are the example of this particular single step system so the examples are zeno 3 then one up bond then the other example is prompt l pop so these are the various examples for your single step system now what are the advantages and disadvantages of this sixth generation so the advantages are you are going to eliminate so over here the main advantage is you are eliminating that rinsing step and the drying step so because of that the possibility of over drying and over wetting so it is not there the next advantage is it is less technique sensitive and it is time saving in this there is like simultaneous demineralization and resin penetration as we have said earlier then in this there is effective dentin desensitizer now as i said there are no voids which are going to be present in this and because of that the post operative dentin sensitivity it is going to be reduced but now what are the disadvantages of this sixth generation so in this most self etch system it contains water but now if it is having water so it is going to influence your polymerization adversely the next disadvantage is in this the seal of enamel margin it may be compromised then the next disadvantage is they are incompatible with the auto or the chemical curing composites you are unable to use this particular system with the auto or chemical curing composite now the other disadvantage is so the shelf life it is reduced and in this it is very difficult to evenly coat the agent then it is comparatively the bond strength in this is lower when you are comparing it with the fourth and fifth generation then it absorbs water which leads to the leaching of the unpolymerized monomers and one more major disadvantage is so it produces a very thin adhesive layer over the hybrid like layer so the layer which is formed is 10 to 15 microns by this particular agent whereas the desirable thickness that we want to act as a shock absorber is 15 micron now lastly starting with the seventh generation so to further simplify the clinical step that is you are mixing it so in sixth generation also we have seen that we are mixing it or we are going to apply it as two step so to simplify it now this generation it was introduced so this generation basically is where you're combining all the three components in one bottle so in fifth and sixth generation there were two bottles but in seventh generation you have only one bottle so it is the combination of all the three components in one bottle and it was introduced in late 2000s whereas the sixth generation it was introduced in early 2000s and fifth generation it was introduced in 1990s so yes definitely the seventh generation in this the clinical steps they were simplified but now as we say everything comes with a price so there were several shortcomings too with this seventh generation the first problem was due to its complex nature why because now everything is mixed into one bottle so due to this complex nature of solution they are more prone to phase separation so this was the first like disadvantage or shortcoming you can say the next is it forms droplets within the adhesive layer and the third uh, disadvantage or shortcoming is now this adhesive layer it act as a semi permeable membrane and this permits the bidirectional water currents 
so because of this the bond strength it was reduced when you're comparing it with the fifth sixth generation or the fourth generation so what are the advantages and disadvantages of this particular seventh generation so the advantage is now it is time efficient why everything is in one bottle then it prevents the cross contamination why because now you are not going to edge then you're not going to rinse everything is like omitted then there is less dentin sensitivity now what are the disadvantages so disadvantages is again it is incompatible with the auto or the chemical curing composite so you cannot use this seventh generation in such like composite situations then it has less bond strength then the reduced life shelf is another disadvantage then the next is now this as it is it was like introduced in the 2002 so because of that no long term clinical reevaluation has been done or there are no much studies which can state about this like the seventh generation then the sealing capacity is less so these are like the various disadvantages and you can also write about this various shortcomings in the same like for the disadvantages now what are the examples for seventh generation so the examples are single bond universal adhesive which is given by company 3m then there is xeno 4 clearfill s3 bond plus and another example will be at per easy one so these are like the various examples for seven generation lastly we'll just see about the recent advances that are made in this dentine bonding agent or what we can call it as the eighth generation so over here eighth generation dentine bonding agent it was contained with the composite resin restorative material so they are known as the self etching self adhering flowable composite technology eighth generation again it was one bottle and it was compatible with total edge or selective edge like curing composite so the seventh generation dentin bonding agent they were not compatible with the selective edge composite resins whereas the eighth generation were made such that they are overcoming this particular problem of the seventh generation and the examples for this eighth generation or the recent advances are future of bond dc they are the nano fillers they are the self etching dual cure adhesive the other example is surpass universal all bond universal so these are like the recent advances which are made so that was all about it all about dentin bonding agent i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please like comment share and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much